everybody, Auntie Crafty here. I'm going to show you how to do a quick uh, mock-up in Inkscape. Um, I have got Inkscape open and I am just going to import a mock-up file that I had bought. It was, it's done by Kitale, um, Nikita Grimes from Kitale. So I'm going to go to uh, File and then I'm going to hit Import. Now I saved this on my desktop just so that uh, for ease of the video. So I'm just going to open this and it's going to insert it. And I'm going to bring it to the middle of the screen here. So as you can see, the size of it is showing. It's selected and the size is 1125 pixels by 750 pixels. That's a really good size for um, putting it onto your Facebook page. Anything around 1100, um, anything over 1000 is pretty good. Uh, you don't want to go too big. Whoops, sorry. You don't want to go too big. You don't want to go too small. You want to keep it like a good size. So around a thousand uh, pixels is pretty good um, on one end, whether it's the width or the height. Um, I prefer the width to be around a thousand. The height is good at 758, 900. That's a good size for Facebook. It's good clarity, especially if someone clicks on that picture, it's nice and clear for them. So here we go. We've got our mock up here. And I'm going to, um, I was just actually working on a file for a client. So I'm just going to import that one because I am doing a, a round sign for them. So here's the file. I've created this. I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to go back to, it's open in another Inkscape screen. So I'm just going to go back to it and I'm going to paste it into here. Now, I, for the sake of this um, demonstration. I know that the file is going to be the wrong color, not a problem. I'm going to change everything in here so you can see it easily. Hold on, here we go. So I've just changed Delta Black just so you can see it better. So I'm just going to resize it and move it around. I'll group it actually just to make it easier for everybody too. Here we go, group. Just makes it easier for you to see. So this is what I would um, put my logo on once this is the mock-up is done because the file I haven't actually made this on the wood obviously uh, but um, I can post this on a business page or advertisement or anywhere I want and, with my logo on it and for advertising purposes so I say I want to put my logo on it I'll import my logo I've got that going to put my anti-crafty ping on here and of course I'm going to have to resize that as well um, you know to, according to how I want it to be um, let's just put for this sake I'm just going to put it here okay um, there we go there we go anti-crafty's you know design on this mock-up now that we've got that done I'm going to drag my mouse around all of this that includes the design, the mock-up, and my logo. See how everything is highlighted here? And then I'm going to click File and then Export. So I'm going to export the ping image. I can play around with it, uh, do different things, save it as a JPEG. Saving it as a JPEG will be your best bet for um, uploading to your Facebook business page, to your website, just depending on what um, suits best for where you're putting it. JPEGs, bitmaps, PNGs, it all depends. Um, it's up to you. But there you go. This is super easy to do. You can change things around. I can ungroup this and change the colors up. Um, put a different logo, put just other wording, whatever. Um, but this is super easy. This is the quickest way to do uh, a professional looking mock-up without having to waste, the, you know, your blank your board your t-shirts whatever this is the way to do it um, so there you have it easy peasy once again have a great day talk to you again